Farmers in Louisiana planted about 400,000 acres of rice, according to the latest USDA planting report. That's down 23,000 acres from last year. As this week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson tells us, yields are getting blasted by a fungus that's hitting hard in southwest Louisiana. This rice field in St. Landry Parish is almost ready for harvest. The healthy green color of the leaves and heads show the care farmer Charlie Fontenot put into his crop. However, for some of his fellow rice farmers in southwest Louisiana, this is the problem they're facing. This is blast. It's a fungal disease which attacks the leaves of rice in the early growing stages and then attacks the heads just before harvest. Blast can kill plants and reduce yields. We have a, a more substantial problem with rice blast. Uh, Dr. Steve Linscombe is the director of the LSU Ag Center's Rice uh, Research Station. It's here at the St. Landry Parish so Field Day in Palmetto where he shares his experience with blast this growing season. This year is, uh, is a really challenging year. It's, it's, I've, I've been working in rice for 30 years and it's the most severe pressure I've seen with this particular disease. Linscombe says the weather is likely to blame for the blast outbreak. I think it has to do with the fact that we had a very mild winter. We did not have a killing freeze and we had blasts that probably proliferated on some of our crawfish ponds that never were completely killed back but uh, and, and probably on, on some other grass species. Uh, but it is uh, quite a challenge this year. We uh, have seen some of our varieties are more susceptible than we thought that they would be. The main variety Linscombe found was susceptible to blast is CL-151. It's one farmer's plant all across Louisiana. However, Linscombe said he did find that CL-111 held up well. So while a blast outbreak is bad for farmers, it can be good for researchers. We don't always have the luxury of having this severe disease pressure. And what this will allow us to do is eliminate a lot of breeding lines that have a high level of susceptibility. And by the same token, uh, we're, we're going to feel pretty good about a lot of the breeding lines that we're, we're going to keep because they're holding up very well under very severe blast pressure. That's why it's important for researchers like Linscombe to have test plots like this one on Fontenot's farm. It's one of the eight across Louisiana set up away from the rice research station in Crowley, and Fontenot says he gets something out of it too. Naturally, we can go with all these research stations and see how it's working out there, but it's the advantage of seeing how it works on your farm and your soil type, your neighborhood. We might think something uh, is a very good line, but when we get it out, about and look at it under different types, different soil types, different disease pressures, we often find that these, these lines don't do as well. Which highlights the importance of field days like this one where farmers get together with researchers to share that knowledge. Charlie Fontenot is very uh, innovative and in, uh, wanting to know what varieties are going to do best on his farm for his soil types. Um, so it's very important to have people like him in the industry that uh, want to take time to cooperate with us. Because that cooperation helps all of his neighbors as well. In St. Landry Parish, I'm Avery Davidson for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. The St. Landry Parish Field Day marked the last major field day for rice researchers. Rice checkoff dollars provided by farmers through the Rice Research and Promotion Board's checkoff programs helped pay for the field testing done at Charlie Fontenot's farm.